Hey guys, Jessica Dombo here with another Custom Gundam MSI review, and today we're reviewing my version 2 Desert Ground Type Gundam. Desert Ground Type Gundam is a pretty hard figure to get. Uh, I only have barely three, but I'm a stop motion animator, and so flexibility is a key thing for the productions that I make of Gundam Father Peace, which is in the works, and, uh, and you know, other things I hope to do in the future as my health continues to improve, as that slowed me down a bit. Anyways, so I've taken version 2 joints from the Strike Gundam for the arms and version 2 ARC-78-2 for the legs and a dual Gundam waist joint. Uh, simple story, or long story short, it's not the cheapest figure to make. Not to mention the ground type Gundam to begin with. But, um, with some cutting and things like that, you can make him a lot more flexible. And so he's got a ball jointed waist, which is nice. His was kind of deeply embedded, so got to pull up a little bit to get more flexibility, but you can kind of see it there. The arms have a double jointed joints in there that does all the stuff it used to. There's no shoulder swivel or anything like that. The hands are on ball joints as well. I get those from, from the strike. I drill out the hands. The head's been modified to look up and down and look a little bit better than it used to. The legs, um, not a whole lot's changed, but now they got that double jointed knee joint, which means that they can take poses that, you know, otherwise used to be pretty hard for a ground type Gundam to do. And uh, I really like it. I like making these version twos. And uh, if anybody has any dual Gundams or, you know, they're damaged or anything like that, I could use some. And, uh, yeah, not a whole lot more to say. I have a ground-type RX-78 as well. I just don't know where he's off battling somewhere. But this pretty much completes my collection of doing these. I've made one of each, minus the EZ-8 and the GM head, as I don't really plan on using them in stop motion, or at least anytime soon. And it wouldn't be too hard to build. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Um, this is pretty easy to duplicate. It, it really is. It's pretty easy to duplicate. And in my opinion, it's worth it. Well, please like, favor, and subscribe as I post a new video nearly every day. And check out our eBay store. There's a link down below in the more info here. We have all kinds of cool toys there, including Gundams. See you guys tomorrow.